क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू क्वेश्चन कार ऑफ मास एम स्टार्ट फ्रॉम रेस्ट एंड एक्सिलेट सो दैट द इंस्टेंट एस पावर डिलीवर टू द कार हैज अ कॉन्स्टेंट मैग्नीट्यूड पी नॉट वी नो दैट पावर कॉन्स्टेंट आपको गिवन है फोर्स इन टू विलॉसिटी विच इज कॉन्स्टेंट वी नो दैट फोर्स इक्वस टू मास इन टू एक्सेलरेशन वी राइट एक्सेलेशन एज ए रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वेलॉसिटी विद रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम वी कैलकुलेट इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलॉसिटी इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलॉसिटी मीन्स वेलॉसिटी एट द इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम देन वी कैलकुलेट पी नॉट बाय एम इन टू डी टी इक्वस टू वी डी वी इंटीगेट ऑन बोथ साइड विद प्रॉपर लिमिट्स At t equals zero, car is at rest, so that velocity initial limit of velocity is zero. At any instant of time t, velocity v, we want calculate velocity v. P naught by m into t and power zero to t. Integration of v, v square by two, limit zero to v. We get p naught by m into t equals to v square by two. V square equals to Two p naught by m into t. Two p naught by m is a constant term, so that v is directly proportional to square root of time, means t raised to the power half. Option is fourth. Fourth is correct answer. <coughs> question number seventy-seven. According to question, three masses plays. on the x axis so this is the x axis first mass of particle is 3 g which is placed at origin this is the first mass m1 equals to 300 g placed at origin and we know that coordinates of origin is always 0 0 second particle of mass 500 g placed at 40 cm from origin along x axis suppose that this is the second part second particle m2 mass is 500 g and place at 40 cm from origin so that its coordinate is 40 and 0 third particle is mass is 400 g place at 70 cm from origin along x axis this is the mass third and mass is 400 g place at 70 cm from origin point so that its coordinate is 70 0 we calculate distance of the center of mass from origin we know that center of mass along x axis of the system is m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 substitute substituting the values of masses and coordinates m1 is 300 x1 is 0 m2 is 500 x2 is 40 m3 is 400 and x3 is 70 300 plus 500 plus 400 yahan mila ko 0 plus 20000 plus 28000 divided by 1200 Total forty eight thousand divided by twelve hundred, we get forty centimeter from origin. Option is third. Then we get answer number third, forty centimeter. Question number seventy eight. Given that a car of mass m is moving on a level horizontal circular track of radius r, and coefficient of static friction is mu s, we know that. this is the horizontal circular track of radius r and car is moving on the circular track its weight is always acting vertically downward and normal reaction which is always acting perpendicular to the contact surface towards the body this is the contact surface perpendicular to the contact surface towards the body and we know that when car any vehicle turns on horizontal circular track then every vehicle tends to outward direction but this is the safely turned so that limiting friction is the force which provide the necessary centripetal force this limiting friction force 
work as a centripetal force F centripetal limiting friction force is mu s into normal reaction and centripetal force is m v square upon r and we know that normal reaction its value is mg mu s mg equals to m v square upon r mcm cancel then we get v square equals to mu s rg v maximum safe speed of the vehicle is root mu s rg option number second answer is second question number 78 question number 80 according to question stone is dropped from a height h this is height h drop kia initial velocity is 0 then a striking velocity is under root 2, 2, 2 gh we know that momentum about momentum momentum is mass into velocity initial momentum is mass into striking velocity of particle under 2 gh in this term mass of particle acceleration due to gravity and numerical value 2 are constants so that initial momentum is directly proportional to under root h then question according to question same particle is dropped from 100 percent more than height of previous previous is h 100 percent more than height then value is 2 h then a striking velocity is under root 2 g 2 h then it means striking velocity of root 2 times of initial striking velocity so that momentum is also final momentum is also root 2 times of initial momentum then we want to calculate change in momentum percentage change in momentum then percentage change in momentum the fraction we uh, calculate fractional final momentum minus initial momentum upon initial momentum into 100 percent final momentum is root 2 times of initial momentum minus initial momentum upon initial momentum into 100 percent we take initial momentum is common initial momentum cancel out root 2 minus 1 value is 0.414 into 100 percent then we get answer final answer is 41 percent option number fourth